Hello database enthusiasts, I am Bakul Bant here, your friendly neighborhood Nutanix era engineer. In this video, we are going to take a look at how to generate an API equivalent code for an operation that is submitted from the GUI. Let's start by going to the UI to provision a Postgres database. I assume you are familiar with the provisioning wizard in era, so I am going to skip the details about the inputs. Let's start by giving a name for our database server. Then we pick a software, a compute, and a network profile for the server and upload a public key. Then click next. Here we give a name for our database and a password for the Postgres user and pick a database parameter profile. The remaining values can be left as default and click next. Here you can configure the time machine as usual. The default values are fine for now. In the bottom left corner, you can see the new API equivalent button. Clicking on it will show you the details about the API that would have been called had you clicked on the provision button. In the left panel, you can see the entire JSON payload for the post API. On the right panel, you can see the entire curl command that you can copy and invoke right away. Alternately, you can also generate the code for Python, Go, JavaScript, and PowerShell. Let's download the Python script and we'll try it out. Let's go to the terminal. All right, the script is there. Let's invoke it. True to its word, the operation has been submitted. We'll go to the UI to confirm. Cancel out the pop-ups and go to the operations page. As you can see, a provision database operation is running with the same name that we had given in the UI, pgdemodb. This feature will be available in the 1.1 release of ERA and will have the support for all the major operations such as cloning, registration, and provisioning. For any questions, feel free to reach out to me at bb at Thank you.